got some new lip liners. We'll have to try these today. Uh, well, actually, I already have this one. This is Whirl. This is one of my favorite lip liners. I'm almost out of it. So I got a new one of these. And then I got this new lip liner, which I want to use today. It's called... Where's the name? Oh, it's called Cool Brown. I saw some other girl on Instagram or something using it, and I was like, ooh, we need to try that. So we're going to try this lip liner today. It's just like, it kind of looks like our old lip liner that we really liked called Prim, but it looks a little lighter. So it's just a nice light brown. We're definitely going to try that today. But if you're hopping on, say hello. Hi, Leslie. What's poppin'? Happy Wednesday gonna pin this here today is the last day you can get the mini skincare bundles on sale the last day okay they are it's basically you can find you know the skincare that i've been hyping up that i really really like they have mini sets that you can try right now so if you don't want to invest in like a full set like big ones like this you can get their little travel minis right now for a really good price um and this is what the they look like well some of them are different sizes but this is one of them um and i i have this is actually i got this as a freebie in one of my orders and i really like this it's called mission accomplished i'm gonna actually get the full size of this but i've been using this for a week and there's like so much in here still um but if you've been wanting to try the skincare i linked it down there uh and that sale ends today so i know a couple of you were kind of contemplating but you didn't know if you would like it now's your chance to try it for a fraction of the price it's like a third of the price and you get all the minis um, and it still comes with the 12 month love it guarantee. So you sent me a picture of your ring. Ooh, I'll have to check it out. I'll have to check it out. Okay, let's start with makeup. We are gonna start with, um, all of these have steps marked on them. So we have steps two, three, three, step. What is this one? This one doesn't say what step it is. Um, I'm just gonna start with this one. I've actually been putting this one on at night and I really like it. It says this is AM and PM, but I'm gonna put this on first and then I'm gonna put on a step two, which the fake ID, the glycerin Reju rejuvenating serum, I'm gonna put this one on next because that's our step two. And then we can put step three on. Your skin looks so good. Thank you. It's actually a little red right now because I was picking on my face. That's like my bad habit. Whenever I get out of the shower, I always pick on my face and I just got out of the shower and I started picking. My face looked so nice this morning until I picked on it. But other than that, my skin is like so smooth. Like it's amazing. Look at this. It's just so soft and smooth. Um, then I'm going to do a step three. Both of these are step three. This is also a step three. I'm going to use the Apple Stem Age Reversal Serum today. And all of these have such good ingredients. If you go on the website and read the ingredients that are in these serums, it's pretty amazing. It's pretty freaking amazing. But, um... I have just been using this skincare now. Um, sometimes I use the Glow Complexion Moisturizer, but um, I've been pretty much just mostly using this skincare now, and I've noticed a massive difference in my skin. So I'm gonna do the Under Eye Caffeinated Eye Cream. This is for under eye wrinkles, but it's also good if you have puffiness under the eyes or if you have darkness under the eyes. So I'm going to put that on right there. Bam! Yeah, my face is a little red too because I was just out in the sun for a while and my cheeks always get pretty red when I go outside. All right, now we're ready for makeup. I'm going to start with the Illuminating Primer. All right. Today's also the last day you can get my bundles on sale. So if you wanted to try the cream foundation, the BB cream, um, you can get those on sale right now, 20% off. Plus, you're going to get uh, free shipping, you're going to get free gummy samples, and you're going to get a free pocket palette while supplies last. There's only one pocket palette left, so who knows how long that will be there for. Um, hey, Hannah, what's poppin'? Got my ring, and I love it so much. Oh, I'm so glad you love it. That's so fabulous. Thank you for letting me know that you like it. I'm going to take my skin, my skin gummies before I forget. These are from Beauty Society as well, and I really like them. 
that have ingredients like glutathione, CoQ10, um, super fruits, boosts like uh, blueberry extract, dragon fruit extract, cranberry extract. These are all high in vitamin C, which is a powerful antioxidant, which helps uh, reduce aging. So you just take two of these a day. I know, I can't believe it's August 1st. It's crazy. They already have Halloween stuff up at the stores. Do they have Halloween stuff up at your stores yet? I feel like it's a little early for that yet. Like, I think it's a little bit early. But anyways, BB cream. Mm -mm -mm. I'm doing light medium. I'm gonna start with a little bit and then take more if I need it because lately I've been using way too much. Really don't need a lot. And since it's been so hot out, I like to do the center method. And that's basically where you apply most of the products, most of the product in the center of your face and then you blend it outward. Because you don't really need coverage over here. You just need coverage in the areas that have the most redness or acne, which is usually the center of your face. Yeah, today is July 31st, but tomorrow is not yet, but it's coming. I know. I know I'm early today. I'm early today. Um, so I don't know how many of you guys know that I trade the stock market. And today is a OFMC meeting, which is a Fed, Fed meeting basically where they announce like interest rates and rate cuts and stuff like that. And sometimes I trade those, sometimes I don't, but usually I like to trade them because either the market pumps up or it pumps down. And if you can grab on that wave, you can make a lot of money in a short period of time. And if you don't wanna trade it, it's just fun to watch the stock move. The last meeting was kinda lame though, the stock barely moved at all, but I've been on several FOMC meetings where the stock just went like flying up, like crazy, just flew up. So I always like to be there for those cause they're kind of fun. And the Fed meeting is at one o'clock today. So it's in less than 30 minutes. I like to get on a little bit earlier though. Monkey is going crazy. Monkey is going crazy. Actually, one of my, um, I do not teach, I don't teach how to trade stocks, but I have the mentorship program I'm in is the one that I recommend people to join if they want to learn how to do stocks. Actually, someone on here named Karen, she signed up um, for our stock market mentorship and she trades with us. Um, I don't know if she's on the live today, but she is, she's like one of my makeup people that signed up to trade stocks, which is really cool. Um, what am I doing? Oh, powder. Powder time. Okay, I'm going to do eyelet press powder. I have birds, yes. Where have you been? I've had birds forever. I know I'm early today. I'm early. So I have to tell you the strangest thing that um, happened today. I mean, it's not strange, it's just like weird. Um, if you want stock market mentorship um, details, you can message me, but I'll just be upfront with you. It's not, if you don't have a lot of mo like enough money, it's not something you should do. Like if you don't have extra money on the side that you can invest, then I wouldn't recommend doing it. The mentorship program with my discount is 2,500. It's usually 5,000 to join, it's 2,500 to join. So if you have money for that, plus an additional like couple hundred bucks to trade with, then message me. But if you don't, don't message me. <laughs> so many people message me because they want to do it, but then they don't have any money to trade with or to join the mentorship. So it's like, well, I don't know why you're messaging me because I can't give you a cheaper price. It's not my mentorship program. It's my mentor's uh, mentorship program. So I can, I'm allowed to give you a discount, but that's the biggest discount that I can give you. So... I would say that's a pretty good discount. That's 50% off. Yep, still saving. Yeah. I don't I only recommend trading for people that have extra money to trade with. Like a lot of people don't have that kind of money 
to be able to invest in stocks. So I just like to be upfront that way. You don't waste your time. I don't waste my time. All that good stuff. But okay, bronze or medium. Okay, I have to tell you a story today. So remember when they did our driveway? They redid our driveway. Well, they're back today, but they're not working on our driveway. They're like parked by our driveway, but they're like at the neighbor's house, two houses down. Hey! Oh my gosh, let me go shut the door. My birds always like to squawk when I like to talk. So annoying. It's like trying to hear your thoughts, but like somebody keeps talking to you. You know what I mean? Anyways, so weird story. This just happened today. Um, I was on the deck tanning in my bikini and I hear a doorbell, the doorbell go off. So I open up the ring camera and I answer the doorbell because I don't want to go answer the door to a guy in a construction suit when I have my bikini on. So I was like, hi, how can I help you? And he's like, hey, can I use your water? And I'm like, where did you come from? <laughs> You know, and he's like, oh, uh, I need water to do some work over here. I was like, are you working at my house or? And he's like, yeah, I'm working on your house. And I'm thinking to myself, well, that's weird. I can see half my driveway. I can't see the full driveway on the camera that I was looking at on the time. So I was like, oh, maybe because um, they already did the concrete at our house, but they didn't. Uh, they didn't come back and fill in dirt and plant grass yet. So I was like, oh, he's probably here to finish the job that they didn't finish and plant grass, put dirt in and plant grass. So he probably needs water to like put on top the grass seed or something like that. I don't know, I don't know how that works. So I was like, oh, cause he said, oh yeah, I'm working on your house. So I was like, oh, okay, yeah. The hose is on the side of the house if you need to use some water. And then literally a second later, my husband calls me, he's like, what is that guy doing? What did he want? I was like, oh, he asked to use our water. And he's like, no. Why is he asking to use our water? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, I asked him if he was working on our house, but I'm pretty sure they're not working on our house. I'm like, I have to go look out the window because I'm not, like, I can't see from the backyard. Uh, and he's like, no. He's like, you tell him they can't use the water. I was like, okay. Um, so I go look just to see if they are working on our house. They're not even working on our house. They, they're like two houses down and the guy came all the way over here to use our water. And you know, we live in the city, so you have to pay, you have to pay to use the water. It's not free. So we're just like, what the heck? Like we've had such a nightmare dealing with these people messing up our driveway them having to redo it. Then they leave rocks and dirt and concrete all over our street. It's just been a nightmare. So my husband's already annoyed of them. He's like, you go tell them they can't use our water. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, I'm like, I only told him yes because he lied and he told me that they were working on our house when they're clearly not. Like, he must have just thought that we weren't home. So he lied and said that they were working on our house. So it's like, I don't know if he doesn't know we have cameras all over our house, but whatever. So then I am like, oh. Okay, I'm like, I don't want to get involved in this stuff. Like, I am a peacemaker. I don't like to argue. Like, I'm like, why don't you just call the, the foreman? Because you have his number and you tell him what's going on. So I don't have to go talk to them. He's like, no, go talk to them. I'm like, oh my gosh, okay. So then I walked over there and I was like, hold on. I got to blend this bronzer. Um, I walk over there and I was like, hi. And I'm like, I'm trying to think how I can like start this conversation without being mean or being weird about it. So I'm just like, hey, uh, do you know when they're gonna come um, fix our grass? And he's like, oh yeah, the other people are gonna come and do that probably later this week. I was like, oh, okay, great. And then I'm like, oh, I thought you were working on this guy's house. Cause we were like standing on the, the neighbor's house next to my house, but they're another house over. And I was like, oh, I thought you were redoing this driveway, but you're actually redoing this guy's driveway. He's like, oh yeah, we're, we're redoing the concrete over here. I'm like, oh, so you're not even working on my driveway. He's like, yeah, yeah. Like he, you could tell he was like, he didn't know what to say then cause he just got caught in a lie. And I was like, yeah, please don't use our water. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know how else to say it, like in a nice way, but I'm like, yeah, please don't use our water. I'm like, you're not even working on our house, so don't use our water. That's all I said. He's like, oh, okay, okay, okay. I was like, yeah. I'm like, all right, thanks, bye. And then I walked back over. 
I'm just like, who does that? Who, uh, how awkward and weird? Like, why did you have to lie about that? And why do you have to come get our water? If you're working on somebody else's house, use their water or bring water. I don't know. Like, how weird is that? So bizarre. It's like if they were working on their house and came down to our house and hey, can we use your bathroom? No, like go to the house you're working on. Why are you coming over here? What are you doing? I guess my husband ca called the foreman and the foreman was just like super annoyed. He's like, I don't know. He's like, you could tell he's annoyed of the crew, whoever they have working for them. Like they're just, I don't know. So, but I was just like, I don't want to be in this mess. Like, I don't want to be in this situation. Like, I don't want these people to not like me for some reason. And then they do something stupid. Like, I don't know. You know, people are crazy these days. I don't like to piss people off. People do some wild shit. Um, and I'm just a little lady. I like to just mind my own business. So, yeah. Anyways, that was the interesting story. The thing that happened today. It was just very bizarre. I don't know why you would lie over such a dumb thing, but literally two minutes later, I went over there and called him out. Strange. Um, I had a homeless person go into our backyard to use our outside faucet. I don't have a problem giving a homeless person water, but don't just walk into our backyard and help yourself. Yeah, they should at least ask. Which this guy was nice, he asked, but why are you asking me to use our water when you're not even working on our house? Like that makes no sense. And then lie about it on top of it. Say you're working on our house, but you're not working on our house at all. You're two houses down. So that was just like weird. So bizarre. I don't know. Sometimes I wonder what goes through people's heads, mainly men. It's always men. Like why do men do weird things? I don't know. I've very rare, Rarely have I had weird, in, um, very rarely have I had weird encounters with women. It's mostly always guys. Like, I don't, I don't know what this is. Am I attracting weirdness? I don't know. Yeah, that's a very weird situation. Would have not known what to do as well. Yeah, that's weird. I had a phone call. I have never to hear your story on replay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not confrontational. Yeah, I'm not confrontational at all. So I was just like, I did not want to go over there. But and my husband's like, you need to go over there. Otherwise, they're going to keep coming over here and using up all of our water. And I was like, okay. And I don't pay the water bill. My husband does. So that's why he was like, go, go tell them. Don't use the water. <laughs> my husband is more like reserved when it comes. Or not. Well, that's not the word. My husband's more frugal. Let's say that. My husband's frugal where he's like, don't use a lot of water, don't use a lot of heat, where I'm just like, I'm one of those people like, hey, gas, heat, water, groceries, those are just necessities that you have to pay for either way, so why be frugal over them? That's just my mindset about it, but my husband has a different mindset about that stuff, so yeah, he was like, no, which I guess I would have been like that too if they're not working on our house. weird I used to be very confrontational I chilled out some at my age well that's good I am I am not confrontational but if like something needs to be said like if something is going on that's not right I will say something like I'm not a person that will just stand that will just stand there and not say anything I will say something if something needs to be said but other than that, I like to just, you know, keep the peace. But that's just, that's like my one, my one thing that I will speak up on if something is, if something's going on and it's just not right. Same? Yeah. It was so funny too, cause my neighbor, <laughs> So I look on the ring camera, you know, and then I told the guy after he said, yes, I'm, or after he told me he was working on our house. And then I said, yes. And then literally right after that, like right before my husband called me, my neighbor texted me. He's like, Hey, they're using your water. And I was like, yeah, I'm like, I told him they could, cause he just told me that they're working on our yard. But I'm like, now I got to go talk to them. Cause he lied <laughs> after I looked out the window. 
embarrassing. I'm an observer first, then say something. Yeah, same, same. By the way, did you put some clothes on when you confronted them? Oh God, yes. Oh God, yes. How like, yeah. I like don't even, half the time, I don't even feel comfortable wearing a bikini out in public. Like just even at a beach. Like I don't wear, that's why I don't post like bikini pictures online and stuff just because I like to be a little bit more modest. But even at like, like on the beach and stuff, I always feel weird. But I mean, there it's a little bit different because everybody's in a swimsuit, but like I could never like go out in public when people are wearing regular clothes and then me be in a bikini because people are just like looking at your body sexually. Like I don't care what, what people say. They are looking at your body sexually if it's a guy. So I that just makes me very uncomfortable. And like I am a firm believer in like being modest. You know, like it's okay to show a little bit of skin, but like if you're like getting really like unmodest to the point where it's making men lust after you, I don't think that's okay. I don't think that's okay. And to me, that would be like too far. And I'm married, exactly. So, um, what are we doing? But even if I wasn't married, I still wouldn't. I still wouldn't do it. I still would not do it. No, I put full clothes on. I put a tank top on and I put pants on. I didn't even have shorts on, I put pants on. And then I went and talked to them. <laughs> With no makeup on. <laughs> Cause my skin looked so good. At least it looked good when I went there. But then when I came home and showered, then my face looked a mess cause I picked on it. Um. Okay, what time is it? I gotta go very soon. Very, very soon. What should we do? We should do liquid shadows because they're fast and I like them and they're easy. Let's do a giggly. We women need to be careful. We're living in a scary world. Exactly. Exactly. And like, you don't know, like somebody can be nice, but they could be a total wacko. Like I will always be nice to people, but I, you still gotta tread lightly. You still gotta tread very lightly because there are some scary, crazy people out there. Like, yeah. Women lust too. Yeah, women lust too as well because there's, we have lesbians now. So women can be lustful as well. But I just say, you know, it's okay to dress like sexy and cute but don't be like too revealing you know what I mean don't give a don't give people a reason to lust after you like obviously it's partly their fault like because they're lusting but don't give them a reason to lust they may have lied because the other house wouldn't let them use their water you know that is a very good possibility I guess we'll find out when we talk to the neighbor because I'm sure we will end up talking to him um But I wonder, cause I don't understand why he would come way over here to use our water. They probably tried the neighbor next to them and they're never home. So they probably came to our house then and asked us. I used to lay out by the pool in our old apartment in a bikini and the freaking mailman would stand there and stare. Oh my gosh, I felt violated. Yeah, see that is just a, ugh, creepy. It's so creepy. And like for that, you're just sitting at a pool. That's like your right to go sit at a pool that you pay for because you live at that apartment. Like that is just grody. Grody. Look at that giggly liquid shadow for the win. We need like, where's the fireworks? Come on Facebook. Why does it never want to work when I want it to work? But I thought there was like different ones that you could do. There's the hearts. Yay! Where's the fireworks? I want fireworks. It said something about that I needed an update, but then it worked for this one. Evan Creepy. That's why I keep myself fat. LOL. Oh my gosh. I guess that's one positive way to look at it. That would be like me, but like I just stay home. 
that's why I keep myself at home and I never do anything. I just stay home all the time. I mean, if I go, I like go run errands, but I just don't like go hang out places by myself. My neighbor walk outside, no shirt and shorts and even get eyed at. And you get eyed at? Oh, weird. See, that's where I would be confrontational. I would tell the mailman to do his job and stop staring. Oh my gosh, yes. I would make it extremely awkward. I would probably, <laughs> if a mailman kept doing that, I would probably, well, ne the next time he came around, I would wait for him to stand there and stare and then I would take a picture of him. I'd be like, good, I'll report you to the something, the USPS, and he'll be like, ooh. And then I'd be like, bye. And then I would report him to USPS. I'd be like, yeah, your mailman delivers mail to my apartment. And every time he comes here, he stands and stares at me. And I feel very uncomfortable. I think you should get a new mailman. They probably, oh, I didn't even turn this on. They probably would take that pretty serious, I would think. Because that's really weird. Gosh. That's why I feel like if I ever had a daughter and like we would go shopping and stuff, I would have like hawk eyes, like watching for creepy people. And if I saw some guy staring at my daughter, I would give him the nastiest dirty look ever. He'd be looking at her, he'd look at me and I'd be like, you know, I would just make him feel extremely uncomfortable. Be like, what are you looking at? You know. He is a federal employee, exactly. That should be um, dealt with. That happened. Huh. Um, did you guys see I got a, I got a creamy, a Ninja Creamy. I'm so excited, I'm gonna use it today. I didn't get to use it last night because my stuff um, by the time I put my stuff in the freezer, it wasn't going to be frozen by the time I could eat it. So I'm going to try it today. I'll keep you posted, but I made a little tutorial, my first thing that I made in it. So my husband is the hot guy. My husband is too. I obviously when I'm oblivious when people stare, but he doesn't miss it and gives them dirty looks and says something. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. My husband is the same way. He's like, thank you, Kim, for the stars. He's like super observant. And he'll, like, I'm pretty observant. Like, I can tell when people are staring and stuff. But I just never make eye contact with them. But, like, my husband can, like, it's, like, even say, like, what they're saying or if they say stuff about me. And I'm just like, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, so the Ninja Creamy, if you guys want to link to the one that... Oh, I had a little scab here and I accidentally scratched it. Now it's bleeding. Um... If you do hashtag LTK, that's the creamy that I got. I got the medium one because they have like one that only has like four buttons on it. It's like the cheaper one. But if you pay like, I think it was like 30 bucks more, you get the one that has like seven different options. So that's the one I got. And then there's one above that that's like, gosh, the one thing I don't like about this natural deodorant is like when it's really hot like this and it starts to melt, it like leaves a chalky film. Um, and then there's one above that, the one, there's the deluxe version, which I didn't get because I don't need the t three extra features that one has. And it's like 50 bucks more. I'd rather keep my 50 bucks for that. So I got the medium creamy one, but I'll let you know how it works. I'm super stoked. I've been wanting one for a while. You basically put fruit in it whatever fruit you want or like milk and like cocoa powder or whatever and then you freeze it and then it turns it into ice cream so you can make your own healthy ice cream at home the first one i'm making is cherry um the deodorant i would have to look i don't remember the brand i actually really like it though it's my new favorite deodorant brand uh i gotta hurry up because i gotta go we're gonna use this new lip liner called cool brown I'm trying to think what this, this deodorant is called. Oh my gosh, that's way darker. That's so much darker. Okay, just kidding, I don't wanna use this. This is too dark for this look. This is too dark. That did not 
it look that dark on my hand when I swatched on my hand. That's like darker than prim. Dang it. Right. We'll go back to my tried and true. This one. This is Whirl. This is my favorite lip combo. It's so easy. You take Whirl, and this is linked on my LTK. Whirl lip liner. And I did a very bad job of lining my lips right there. Whirl lip liner. And then you just put quick getaway lip butter in the middle. This one. It's like the easiest lip combo. So easy. Hello. Boom. Last thing I need is lashes, but do I have time to put lashes on? I really don't have a ton of time, but I'm gonna put them on really quick. Um, but don't forget, today is the last day to get those mini those mini skincare bundles. Two of them sold out already. The mature skin one sold out, and then the men's mini skincare regime regimen, whatever you call it. That one is almost sold out. So there's only a couple different ones left. So if you wanted to try one and get it on sale, today is the last day. You can just comment the word skin and it will send it to you. Just comment skin, it will send it to you. You can check it out for yourself if you want. You're gonna go to that link and then you're gonna scroll down and you'll see all the minis, the mini sets. And they're a lot more affordable than like a full set. So if you wanted to try the skincare, you can try it at a fraction of the price. Cause like a full, full size set, depending what you get is usually around like 200, like a full skincare regimen. And these little mini sets are like 50 bucks. So super affordable. And it gives, gives you the chance to at least try it to see if you like it. I freaking love it. I love the skincare, it's so good. Bam, look at that. All right, now we're done, I gotta go. I know the mature skin one, they have some other good ones that you could still try though. They have some other good ones. But I got a toodaloo, the link for the skincare is down there. Um, this necklace is from Bombshell, hashtag beads for this or the beads, hashtag cross for this. Hashtag lavish for the earrings. Um, the watch, the little band here, hashtag bands. I did use giggly, yep. Giggly and reverent. And then makeup, hashtag beauty. And if you want to get one of the little skincare bundles, just do, just say skin and it will send it to you. But I'll see you later. Thanks for coming on today. Goodbye.